Hi, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. In this video, we're going to be talking about BamBamSignals. BamBamSignals.com is a free website that you can get uh, trading signals from, and you can use these alerts and send them over to TradeLab. We partnered with BamBam to make it easy to set up alerts in TradeLab, so I wanted to go over how that works. When going to BamBam, the first thing you'll see is this homepage where you'll see all the different signals that they provide, uh, how many bots are running each signal, and then if you want to see the win rate, you can click on this up here and it'll show you all the different win rates of the different bots here. Okay, so you can go back to Bam Bam Signals and we can go ahead and hit Add Signal and it'll show us the Add Signal screen. So the first thing we'll do is make our signal name. I'll just call it Jake's Alert. And for our signal, we'll choose and there's lots of different signal providers. So, um, you know, Lunar Crush is very popular. There's also different strategies that people have made. So like in the name of EMA is an interesting one. So you can click on this and you can click the, another dropdown will show up underneath. If we click this, we'll see all the signals that this provider provides and we'll select a particular signal. So I could say, the EMA uh, 2550 AVAX, uh, it's a buy signal. If I click on this one, then we can go to signal type and we'll select tradelab.ai. All right, so now let's head over to tradelab. For the signals I have in Bam Bam, they want to send me a buy and a sell alert. We can see that over here, a buy signal and a sell signal. So we'll go back to tradelab and we'll hit the simple buy and sell when it asks us what type of bot that we want to set up. Clicking on that will clone the template and it'll start the strategy setup. Uh, we'll click do it now and it'll help us set up our strategy. We'll select our exchange and we'll select our symbol. Um, if you haven't selected, if you haven't set up a exchange, you can do that in the uh, settings screen off to the left. Okay, so we'll go ahead and press continue. And now it'll give us the two uh, alerts that we need, the buy alert and the sell alert. So we'll click the buy. So here's the instructions for setting up this alert. We can see that the webhook URL is right here. That's what we need for Bam Bam. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And we'll paste that into the webhook URL right there. And then for the Trade Lab data, we'll go back and click on the message right here. That'll copy it, and then we'll paste that in right here. Okay. This exchange option right here is more for other uh, bot systems. They are doing an update uh, to Bam Bam that's going to tell you where the signal is coming from because that can be important sometimes. But uh, this exchange and order parity doesn't actually change anything about the alert. So you don't have to really worry about that. So you select whatever it is that you want there, and, uh, and then you can go ahead and hit save. So now we have that Jake alert, and it's created for my EMA. And we're ready to go. So if we go back to Trade Lab, I'll hit back, and we can set up our sell alert as well. So we'll go back to Bam Bam Signals. We'll click Add Signal. And then we'll set up our Jake cell alert. And with our signal being from in the name of EMA and our AVAX as a cell signal. So now we'll set our signal type to Trade Lab. We'll copy our webhook URL from Trade Lab and paste it in. And then we'll copy our message from Trade Lab and paste it in. Okay, we'll once again select our exchange, which doesn't really matter on these two last settings, and then press save. And now we have a buy and a sell alert set up in Bam Bam. So if we go back to uh, Trade Lab, all we have to do is hit back and hit all done. And uh, our simple buy and sell strategy is already set up to do longs and shorts uh, after it hears the buy and sell signals. So all we have to do is go over to trade settings and make sure that our amount type is set up to what we want. So amount, we say 50 USD, or if we want to do percentage, we might do say five 
percent, right? We can also set our order type and our leverage, that sort of stuff. And then we can go to the lines panel, this panel right here. This is the fourth button from the top on the sidebar. The lines panel gives you the option of setting a take and stop lines, and you can set multiple. So if we press the plus button right here, this will ask us what type of line do we want to make. It'll ask us how many lines uh, do we want to make, and it'll ask us different questions on where we want to place those lines and how we want to set that up. Uh, for more information about this, I have a take profit and stop loss video that explains uh, this builder and how to set this up. Okay, for now, I'll go ahead and cancel that. And we can see that our stop line and take line are already set at 2% from the entry. Uh, to change this, we could uh, hit the edit button here at the top. This gives us the chance to edit all the lines at once. And we can say 2% for our stop loss. And if we wanted a two to one risk ratio, we could say 4% in our take line. So now we have 4% and 2%. Okay, can go, <laughs> we'll go ahead and hit save. And here we can see it's set up at 2% and 4%. So now that that's all set up, uh, we can go ahead, hit save and quit. And so now here on the strategy screen, we can see that the generic buy and sell combo I just set up is searching and it's looking for entry. That means it's running and it's ready to go. So now all we have to do is wait for Bam Bam Signals to send us an alert. If you want to uh, send your own alerts to, uh, to test and you don't want to wait for Bam Bam, you can go back into the edit screen and you can hit the alerts uh, tab right here. And then you can hit the send test alert. This will allow you to send a test alert. You can press the uh, place real orders checkbox if you want to place an actual order. If you leave this unchecked, it'll run through everything and show you the results, but it won't actually place an order. Okay, and then we can hit send alert. And this will go ahead and place an order for us. We can see the alert that just sent. We can see the uh, combo template that ran, and we can see the uh, long enter that passed. If we open up the conditions, we can see why it passed, and we can see the actions that it ran. So here's the notification that our trade opened. So now we can go to my strategies. And here we can see that the generic buy and sell combo template that I set up is now in a trade. We can see the trade uh, on the right side in the open trades sidebar. And then we can also see that it's uh, looking for exit. It's open and along right now. So now that it's looking for exit, we can go ahead and close it with a test alert. So we can, uh, we could also close it by hitting close trade now right here or close trade now right here. Um, but we'll go back into the edit. And as another example, we'll hit send test alert on the sell alert. This is in the alerts panel right here. So we'll click send test alert. We'll place a real order. We'll hit send alert. That'll once again show us the alert that was sent. It'll show us the long exit that passed. And once again, we got the notification for our trade closing. So we'll go to my strategies. And here we can see the generic buy and sell combo template is now finished. It's looking for entry, it's reset, and it's, uh, it's looking for the next trade. And this will conclude the video on how to set up Bam Bam Signals. Uh, Bam Bam is a great website. I've talked to the developer. He reached out and uh, helped us set up Trade Lab for it. Um, it's, a, it's a great service. It's free. Uh, they're adding stuff all the time. There's uh, new pages, uh, new stuff. He's, he's telling me he's adding new stuff all the time. So uh, go ahead and check them out. And uh, if you need any help with Trade Lab, you can always uh, go to the help button down below right here and click the create support ticket. That'll send me an email and I'll email you back. Uh, you can also join us on Discord. And if you liked what you saw in the video, go ahead and leave us a like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.